All right, so good to be back. In today's video, we're going to look at two commands, the CD command uh, and the MKDIR command. All right, so let's look at the CD command. CD command simply means change directory. We have to specify the target directory as an argument. All right, so I am in my home directory. So this tilde here simply means the current user's home directory. So how do I know if I PWD? You can see I'm inside home and Setson, which is this current user. All right, so we know where we are. And so the CD command is going to help me to change directories. I can move up or down that file system. So let me bring it back so that you guys can have something to refer to. So this is the file system. So you can see currently I'm inside this home directory. This is where I am. So it's my home. Let's say we want to go up or down this level. We can't use the CD command. You have to specify the path to where you want to go. So let's say we want to go back to this home. So we can CD forward slash home. And you can see now here it says home. This is going to show you where you are, the absolute path. We are starting with this forward slash. We said this forward slash is the root. And then we are inside home. I can PWT to confirm that we can see we are for slash home and i can also ls to see what is inside home inside home there is a projects folder there is also this setson which is our home so if i want to go one level up cd now we are going back to the root folder so i can use that forward slash we are in the root directory so i can pwd you can see we have this root if i ls you can see what we have we have this home we have many other files here on the file system so you can compare this file system uh, to what we are seeing and this is a simplified version of uh, the file system but this is what we actually have inside that bin at c um, the usr the var the dev the home all right so uh, let me clear this let's say we want to go back to our home directory so I'm the current user. My name is Sadson, and so I have a folder called Sadson, which is my home. Let's say I want to go back there. I can use CD tilde. Since I said this tilde represents my home directory. So if I press enter right now, you can see I'm back inside my home directory. If I PWD, you can see forward slash home forward slash Sadson. If I LS to see what is inside, you can see what is inside my own directory. All right, so let me clear this. Um, I'm supposed to use clear, not CLS. I'm used to use a partial or the command terminal on a Windows computer. All right, so uh, CD and then argument, the absolute path or a relative path. All right, so currently we know where we are, right? Uh, we are PWD. We are in home section. So inside section, there is another folder called python example so i can cd into that folder python underscore examples so this is a relative path so i can use a relative path and so if i press enter now you can see so this tilde means home forward slash home forward slash setson so here we are basically saying we are inside home setson and then python examples and if I ls what is inside there, you can see there's hello.py, there's new d3 here. All right, so let's say I want to go back. I want to go up a folder. So I want to go back into Satsun. You can use double dots to go one folder up. CD double dot. If I press enter, you can see now I'm back in my home directory. If I CD again and double dot, I'm going up that ladder. So each time I write CD double dot, if I was here in folder one, I will go up into user one and then go up back again and then go up to the root folder. So basically, this is what CD dot dot does. It takes you one level up the file system. So let's say I want to go back uh, multiple steps, not just one step. I can say CD and then dot dot forward slash again dot dot and then forward slash dot dot depending on how many levels i want to go back but in this instance we are in the home directory which is just one level from the root directory which means these other levels are not available so if i press enter it takes us back to the root directory which is the last level or the final level on the hierarchy if i want to go back home to my own home directory i can see the uh, tilde back i'm back now pwd you can see i'm back in my home directory 
command number four, make DIR, which is make directory, creates a new directory. You have to provide the name and the location. The location is optional as an argument. We can also use the P flag to create multiple directories in a hierarchy. So let's uh, try this out. So I'm here. Um, so if I PWD, currently I'm in home, uh, Satson, if I LS. All right, so you can see what is inside here. I have directory one. I also have this new D, new D2 and Python examples. These are directories. Um, of course, we will talk about the different types of files that we have. Uh, in Linux, uh, but for now, I want you to look at these directories. And so we can make a new directory. If I say MKDIR, um, if I don't specify the path, if I just provide the name of the directory, it's going to create a directory inside the current location, directory one. Now, if I LS, you can see now we have directory one here that has been created in there. Let's say we want to create a directory inside directory. So I would say mkdir and then now I have to specify directory one because this is where we want to create a directory. And then we have to separate that with the forward slash. And then I'm going to say directory two. I can ls what is inside directory one. So I want to ls what is inside there. If I press enter, you can see our directory two has been created inside directory one. We have used the relative path. Of course, this directory one is inside our current location. So we just specified it up here. Let's say we want to create multiple directories, one inside another. We have to provide the P flag. I can say make DIR and then dash P. I can then specify where I want to create these multiple directories. So let's say I want to create these multiple directories in the current location. So I can say direct one. I'm, I'm just going to call them direct and then direct two and also direct three. If you don't specify this P, it's not going to work. Let's first do it without the P. If I press enter, you can see it cannot create directory, directory one, no such file, no such directory. But if I provide a P flag here, I say dash P, because you have to separate these with spaces. And if I press enter, you can see it looks like we've done nothing, but that command has been executed. If I LS now, we have direct one in here. So inside direct one, that's where there is direct two. Inside that direct two, there is direct three. So we can confirm that by LS. Let's see what is inside direct one. You can see what is inside direct one is direct two. Let's see what is inside direct two. So we can LS direct one forward slash direct two. Um, so this is supposed to give us direct three because that's what is inside direct two. So let's press enter. You can see down here it says direct three. All right. So this um, to somebody who is new to this, this might look confusing, but I'm going to ask you to take your time okay, to go through this. Try and practice it. The more you practice it, the easier it's going to become for you. All right. So I want to thank you for your time. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, remember to do so. Uh, you can leave a like, leave a comment, and I appreciate your support. I hope to see you in our next tutorial. For now, I'm out. Bye-bye.